I'm with Gina Stoniker from the Vintage Shop and she's going to show me how to do a chalk painting piece and she has classes so you can learn too. So Gina, what are we going to be working on today? Today I'm going to show you a two color distress finish which when it's finished will look like this. And so what I did was I wanted to go ahead and just to kind of accelerate this process. I thought we would begin by uh, just applying some cream, any Sloan cream. You can grab your brush okay. and your board, and you just want to dip your brush into this paint mm -hmm. and then begin to apply it. And you notice, Phyllis, that when I brush this paint on, I'm mm -hmm. moving that brush every which way across that board. Mm -hmm. And the reason we do that mm -hmm. is because we want to get some texture. Oh. So yeah. you don't need to be extremely neat. Okay. You just need to... Um, you just need to get coverage. Yeah. So you're doing a great job. Oh, thanks. Yeah, and like you were telling me, if you get this on you, it just washes right off. Right. No problem. On yes, clothes. you can just get some water and wash it right off. Oh, great. So you can see those brush strokes going through that board. Mm -hmm. So just kind of wipe that on every which way. Oh, great. Okay, good. When you're done, you can just set that aside to dry. So obviously, if you were painting your own piece, you'd want to let that base coat dry. Mm -hmm. So we'll just uh, we'll take these brushes and put those in water and in order to just kind of advance this along. I already painted two boards with a base cream mm -hmm. and they're dry. Okay. So, so that's our base coat uh -huh. okay, of our two color Distress. And what I'd like to do now is I would like to put our second layer on that mm -hmm. board. And so we're going to use graphite, which is a beautiful, uh, very dark gray, almost black. And then we're going to use emperor silk, which is a beautiful red. Mm -hmm. yeah. So here's your brush. Okay. Now before we begin, what I'd like to do is I want to thin this paint down just slightly for the second coat. And the reason I do that you can just go ahead and stir that around with your brush. The reason I do that is because it enables the distressing process to go a little more quickly. Mm -hmm. So when we're distressing with sandpaper, when this dries, mm -hmm. this coat isn't applied as thickly, so it will distress oh, quicker. A little easier. Yes. Yeah, so what we want to do is we want to apply the second coat, mm -hmm. and again, don't worry about your brush strokes, which direction. This is a two color distress, so you want texture. Okay. You're just looking for coverage, but not even really complete. You don't care if oh. there's some streaks, oh, because nice. we're going to distress these boards. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's so. right, it doesn't nice. have to be perfect. And again, when we're finished with that, we'll just set that off to dry. Mm -hmm. okay. I'll take your brush for you. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. And we have a little paint on our hands, but that's okay. Yeah. That's, we have fun. It's all in the fun. Yeah. That's right. Okay, so again, in order to accelerate this process, <laughs> I already painted two boards with a second coat of graphite and emperor silk, and those are now dry. Mm -hmm. So now, what you'd want to do is you could do this two ways, Phyllis. You could either wax, clear wax first, and then distress, which many um, Annie Sloan uh, People that use her products, painters, they, they like to wax first and then distress because it cuts down on the sanding dust. Mm -hmm. I personally like to distress first and then mm -hmm. apply my clear coat of uh, wax, mm -hmm. Annie Sloan Soft Wax. So what you need to do is just grab that mm -hmm. sandpaper, and this mm -hmm. is a very fine grit mm -hmm. sandpaper, and you see the raised areas of this wood? Mm -hmm. You just want to lightly oh. rub those areas to reveal that beautiful base layer of cream that we applied. Oh, very nice. And you can, you can distress that board really any, anywhere you'd like. Mm -hmm. But typically, you like to do it in areas that would normally show somewhere on a, on a piece of furniture. So uh, those raised areas, those ornamental embellishments on wood, you like to maybe play those up a little bit with some wax. Yeah, adds to the charm. It does add to the charm. So, and again, you don't need to do, this doesn't need to be perfect. Mm -hmm. It just simply, you just want it to look distressed. 
And you can even sand in different directions. Oh, okay. Kind of go like crisscross. Right. You, you don't necessarily have to go with the grain of the wood. You can go mm. against it. Oh, like this. Yeah. Okay. And you see that beautiful cream coming through there. Oh, yeah. That base coat. Yeah. And again, you could do this with any color combination. We just chose to use cream today. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're going to finish up with some clear wax. And what I'd like to do is just put a little wax into a container. Mm -hmm. It doesn't even take much. Here's your wax brush. Mm -hmm. And what you'd like to what I like to do is dip that wax brush into the wax and you don't want to see the wax globbed up on the side. You just basically want to push that wax up in the brush just enough to cover your piece. Okay, so you go ahead and try that. And then when you put that on, Phyllis, you just want to, you can start in a circular motion mm -hmm. on the wood and you just want to cover it and see what it does to that color. It deepens the color. Yeah. It gives it a very soft, mellow finish. Mm -hmm. And so then once you get that very thin layer, you don't want to put too much wax on it because if you do, mm -hmm. it won't dry properly. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, very pretty. Okay, so just apply that all over the board mm -hmm. in circular motions. Mm -hmm. Just go up in those corners, go into the grooves, and then just rub it across the board. Mm. Very nice. Mm. Looks good. Ta -da. So then what I like to do is go over it with a lint-free cloth just to wipe the excess okay. wax off. Okay, so if you have any excess wax, you can just simply wipe that now with a lint-free okay. cloth. T-shirts work well. Oh. Really any lint-free. And this kind of protects the wood. It too. does. Mm -hmm. good. So you can see here, Phyllis, how we have different directions showing oh. through because we rub that sandpaper uh -huh. against the grain, with the grain, so we show a lot of distressing. Mm -hmm. And again, that's a, a matter of personal preference, how mm -hmm. heavy you like your distressing. Our next step would be to apply dark wax if we wanted to do that. We don't necessarily have to, but some people just really like to further accentuate these distressed areas on their piece. So mm -hmm. what we would do is we put a little bit of dark wax into a container. Mm -hmm. and this time we're going to use uh, these chipper brushes. And again, you just want to get a little bit of dark wax and then rub the excess off in your container. And then just rub that across the board and try to get down into the detail mm -hmm. of the board. And don't be afraid to apply it liver liberally because mm -hmm. it's very forgiving and now that we have the clear wax on mm -hmm. the board we have some mobility we can move that dark wax around mm -hmm. and put it where we want it yeah. and again I like to follow with a lint free cloth to just kind of mm -hmm. get you into it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh yeah it looks beautiful yeah so see how it accentuated even the graphite and now you have a play of dark wax in these uh, grooves, and it just really further accentuates the distressing. And I kind of did that here with the emperor silk also. And again, you see, I have the red inside those grooves. It even played up the cream. Mm -hmm. It deepened the cream. So that's really a, the effect of dark wax and what dark wax can do for your piece. So. Oh, That's wonderful. your finished board. You look like a pro. Oh, I was taught by the best. Yeah. So, yes, Gina is, she teaches classes here at the Vintage Shop, and I've got all the information in my web exclusive story, so you can make beautiful pieces just like this.